On today's stream, I reacted to the oldest and possibly first ever analog horror series. At least that I can find. This is called Marble Hornets, and it came out in 2009. My god, this whole thing revolves around Slenderman. It's old creepy. But despite that, it holds up as one of the scariest series I've seen so far. And this is just episode one. We barely scratched the surface. This thing is almost nine hours long. So if you want to watch along with this series with me, feel free to subscribe. I'll be streaming this all live on my Twitch, but if for whatever reason you can't catch it there, up to this channel so you never miss an episode here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. We're about to watch is from 2009. As you can tell by the fact that it literally isn't even a full and a full aspect ratio. And we're going to be giving it a watch. So, without further ado, welcome to the introduction of Marble Hornets. Thank you for the prime. The grind is going on for 15 months now. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be better off over here. Hmm. I am probably am better over here. With just this off. Yeah, that seems like the best. Over the three months that this took place, his film crew complained of his increasing levels of stress and irritability. Oh yeah, so so the, from what I understand, I did I did read a little synopsis just to give myself an idea. Um, college student, I don't know his name yet, finds raw footage from his friend Alex, who is a film student. He's also a film student, the protagonist, but Alex was also a film student from the college. And this is um, his student film entitled Marble Hornets. This is what it was called. He started in 2006. Over the three months that this took place, his film crew complained of his increasing levels of stress and irritability. Yeah, I'll, 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 you're clued in as much as I am now. Thank you for all the subs coming through, by the way. I really do appreciate it. Near the end of shooting, Alex halted production indefinitely and dropped the unfinished product. project. Sorry. He told me it was due to the unworkable conditions on his set, which was less than a mile away from his house. Okay. I asked what he planned to do with the countless numbers of tapes he had filled. Burn them. Jesus Christ. Okay. Bro really hated his film. Goddamn. Being a film student myself, I hate to see all his work go to waste. And after some coercing, he agreed to give them to me. Okay, so he's clearly not that traumatized. You'd think. Under the condition that I never mention it to him again. Never mind. Sounds slightly more traumatized than I thought. Soon after, Alex transferred to another school and I haven't seen him since. Oh, wow. So he really did. He just ran away. Fucking hell. At the time, I was too unnerved to look through the tapes. And eventually forgot about them. Yeah, you would be a bit unnerved. Your friend just goes, No! You could have them and never speak to me about them again. Bye, I'm leaving your life forever now. A few days ago, I found them far away in the back of my closet. And now they're out of the closet. After three years and zero contact with, Al uh, with Alex, I've decided to look through them. The tapes are out of the closet. All the tapes are unnumbered and missing timestamps other than taking place in the summer of 2006. It is impossible to determine the exact order or date of each. Oh, so it's, of course it's fucking out of... Oh, it's like FNAF. It's all out of order. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I find anything in any of them, I will upload it to keep as a permanent record. Fuck's sake. Right, we're gonna have to do some game theorying. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! Honestly, you know what? I'ma say it. I'm quite impressed by my map hat there. Use your primes, kings. It's always FNAF. It always comes back to FNAF. Even before FNAF, it was FNAF. The timeline's out of order. Oh, the t right, the real life timeline of horror is out of order. FNAF came first and everything else just copied it. Jackpot. I once, quickly before we start, on to the first thing. I once in real life Seven years met. Seven years, bald man. Seven years? The timeline's out of order. The timeline's out of order. The timeline's out of order. Um, I know there's a playlist in order, but I think that's boring. I think that's really boring. I don't think we should watch the playlist. It, it, like, I think, I think we should watch it as it was released. As if I was a child back in 2009, which I was, by the way. Um, I think that's a better way to watch it, to be honest. I think I, I would like to try and unpack it myself like a, like a real, like a real theorist. Hornets. 
I was absolutely obsessed with this when I was younger. Masky and Hoodie, my beloved. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I'm gonna do that. But no, I, I once met a man in real life called Matt Pat, and it wasn't math, it wasn't Game Theory Matt Pat. He was a producer on a Twitch grind. Rivals. He went, "Hi, I'm 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 um, Matthew Patrick," and he's like, "But people call me Matt Pat," and I literally nudged the guy next to him and went, "It's not Matt Pat." Wee woo. I'm like, I almost called him out. I almost went, "No, you're not." You're not Matt Pat. He went, uh, people call me Matt Pat. I'm like, no, they don't. No one calls you that. You're not Matt Pat, mate. Don't. I was like angry. I was angry with him. Can you believe that? I was really mad at this poor, I don't know if he works for Twitch or whoever, but he was, his name was Matthew Patrick. And I was almost pissed with him for claiming to be Matt Pat. I was like, your ass is not Matt Pat, bro. You can be Matthew Patrick. Sure. That's your name. You are not Matt Pat manifold and you will never be pog, Matt Pat either. Pog. He is not Matt Pat. I was really mad. I was like, you are not Matt Pat. Um, it may have also been Matt Pat. Now I think about it. Um, may have all, it or I don't know if it was Matt Pat or not, but there was all, I had some weird, weird little uh, moments on that Twitch Rivals. For example, my favorite was, um, was uh, right before we, we went live with the, with the Tubnet Twitch Rivals, one of the, one of the um, casters simply asked, um, which is very common. It's very, very common within this industry. -E -A -L -U -L. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 18. But um, they asked, which is very common, is there anything we can't talk about? Which generally, it doesn't mean like, should we not be racist? It more means like, are there any brand conflicts or anything like that that we shouldn't discuss? Like, like, like when I do Prime Video stuff, they ask me not to speak about Netflix because like they're competitors, like it makes sense, right? So, so we, we, right before we were about to go live, um, we were, we were like, is there anything we shouldn't speak about? And one of the producers, might have been Matt Pat, might not have been, looked us dead in the eyes and went, bear in mind, this is the Minecraft Twitch Rivals, he went, the war? And I went, what? I, I literally, I was like so taken aback, I went, what? And he went, the war in Ukraine? I was like, why, why would I have, why would I speak about that? And he went, I don't know, you just shouldn't. And I'm like, no, agreed, no, agreed. I don't think that's, what? I, I genuinely was like, brother, no, of course not. I, I, I couldn't believe it. And he was really, he was really serious. He was like, the war. He, like, he almost seemed heartbroken. I mean, understandably, but, but still, he, I was like, why? I literally was so shocked. I wasn't even polite. I just went, why would I have done that? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, I mean, he wasn't wrong. He definitely wasn't wrong. You know, in the right for suggesting I don't speak about it. Jack the playlist. No, I want to I wanna do it like I'm a... I want to do it like I'm a kid in 2009. I'm ignoring your damn playlist requests. All right? I'm me, Jack Manifold. Seven years old. Actually, I'm six years old. I was six years old at the time this video was uploaded, right? Let me be six-year-old Jack Manifold finding this on the internet for the first time, please. I'm watching it by release. You, were, I will not regret it. I will not regret it. I know it has extra videos. I know the extra videos exist. I also know that about most series I've watched, and every single time so far, I've managed to find them through my own watching. I'm a diligent watcher, chat. That's why I'm the analog horror guy. I spot these things. I will find the extra lore. Don't you stress. Anyway. I will not miss stuff. I'm better than you. He wasn't though. I'm better. I'm better. Anyway, <clears throat> why's your setup in the kitchen? Because uh, my desk didn't get delivered till yesterday, and I moved about a month ago. So I had to use my kitchen table. Anyway, please come on now. We've got analog car to watch. Please come on. Okay. We will. What we will. I'm not gonna watch the playlist unless we uh, start missing shit. But I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I'm not gonna, because uh, uh, I'm a diligent watcher. I'm, I'm, I'm better than you. My eyes are better than you. I have 50-20 vision. No. James Marriott would mute me right now. I'm gonna watch the thing, please. Entry one, that's Japanese. 
Oh, there are only captions in Japanese. Never mind. Well, for my Japanese viewers, congratulations. For everyone else, I'm sorry. Is it actually worth having the Japanese subtitles on? Are, they, are, are, are we going to... No, I'm leaving them on. It might have lore in it. I've found in my experience that subtitles are always worth it. It might throw some shit in there that's lore-based. My footage takes place inside Alex's house, not from the set of Marvel Hotlines. Okay. The audio has been removed. Either the microphone was disabled at the time or it was taken out afterwards. Okay. So, what... what was, sorry, let me read that again. I was getting distracted by the Japanese. Okay. After viewing a couple of tapes and finding nothing unusual, came across a clip that doesn't fit in with the others. Okay. From what I can tell, the following footage... Okay, that's it. Literally just, it's it's weird. It takes place at his house. Cool. Right, no Audio has been removed. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. He's looking out of his window. Is that Slender Man? This was the only thing that was out of the ordinary on this particular tape. I've seen this clip. I'll keep an eye out for the occurrences similar to this one in the future. Wow. Genuinely, the first entry was the thing that did Slender Man. Holy shit. I had no idea Slender Man came from this. And Slender Man was like the only creepy pastor I knew because a friend introduced me to it. So I'm shocked, to be honest. All right. Interesting. Oh, and now it's got English subtitles again. Interesting. A few more hours of tapes found this clip of Alex talking while driving. For now, I will assume that this probably took place before the events of Entry 1. I got home late tonight and I was taking Rocky for his walk about uh, 20 minutes ago, so around midnight. This was near the set of Marble Hornets. Uh, a little bit farther down the road, we saw this really tall guy standing in the middle of the street, just completely still. For whatever reason, this really set off Rocky and... Uh, Cause it's the fucking Slender Man! Wouldn't move and he kept on. He's gonna put you on fucking right trees, bro. There was something about this guy that was just, it was strange. So um, we headed back home. I have a little bit of time left on this tape, and uh, I'm gonna go see if he's still hanging around. In fact, I think this is the light that he was standing under. So I'm gonna have a look here. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like he's still chilling. Oh no, that's uh, just a light, right? I can't tell. Okay, okay you can't really see it well on the camera. No, I can't see shit, man. I don't see anyone oh. around oh, okay, here. Oh, okay, nobody's so not I guess here. he's moved on. Uh, but yeah, there's just something about that, that. Never get out of the car. The tape ends there, assuming it just ran out of thing. From what he describes, I think he has seen something similar to the figure that appears in entry one. Makes sense. Weird. 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 I like it. I'm liking this already. Let me have a look at Slenderman again. No, this is introduction shit. Where is he? Uh, huh. Fucking interesting, man. I'm getting into this already. Lock the damn door. I think my door isn't even locked. I shouldn't have announced that on stream. Give me have some fucking weirdo show. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> Sometimes my brain's foolish. Um, okay, the door is locked now. <laughs> Why do people lock people's doors? What? Because I, I ran down to get some food earlier and I didn't know if I locked it on the way back up. When you lock your door, I usually lock my door always. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes I don't. Just sometimes, you know, it's easy to do. Anyway, please. He's trying to be in the next entry. The, ne the last entry was in fucking 2014. All right? No, it's not locked. Look behind you. What? Oh, no. Minions. Don't be s fools, please. It's a serious place where we're learning about real horrors that actually happened. Come on now. 
I'm starting to notice the vast majority of the tapes are completely unrelated to Marble Hornets. That's really weird for someone who's filming. At some point, it seems Alex began filming himself exclusively. Following clips taken from roughly 12 tapes. Fucking hell. So yeah, he just gave up by those things on Marble Hornets completely. Why though? Oh, that's loud as fuck. Sorry, that's really hurt my ears. I don't like that noise at all. That's really fucking loud. Why has he got the camera set up? What's he filming right now? Seemingly nothing. Okay, no. Fucking hell. Bro sat down with some thunder. That ass got fucking power behind it. See that the camera jolted when he sat. Boom. Sorry. If I was Slenderman, I'd be following this guy too. Why did- ooh, that was weird. Never mind, I apologize. I don't think Slenderman picks his victim by the size of their bunda. Why did I say bunda? What's wrong with me to- my- I- mm, You know what? Let's just take a pause. I'm gonna have a sip of Dr. Pepper and I'm gonna reset. Please. Earth shattering. Anyway. <clears throat> Move on. Alright. Okay, he- well, he just filmed himself sitting down. Okay. Then he films outside his window. I don't know what kikadas are. I assume like grasshoppers. Uh, he's in fucking Best Buy or some shit. Uh, more tapes, I assume? I don't really know what tapes look like. I'm not, not old enough. He looks kind of like... <laughs> fucking angry video game nerd in my head. Is that how angry video game nerd looked? Hold on. <laughs> Kai, Kai, it's the, Kai, I love it. It looks a little bit like the angry video game nerd. <laughs> no angry video game nerd. Don't fight Slender Man. He fucking comes out with a gun. He's a boom. That's how you review games. It was he the one? Was he the one who used to have the intro? Which one had the intro? No, it was the other fucking guy. It was it was angry video game nerd, and there was that other guy. What was his name? What was his name? The other one. And 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 he had the intro where he like fucking had a gun and shit. The other guy. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Nostalgia critic. That's it. Nostalgia critic. <laughs> <laughs> fucking angry video game nerd would simply run and hide. I fucking nostalgia critic if Slenderman showed up at his door. <laughs> oh, that's a tweet I made at Schlatt. Schlatt stole his Pablo Picasso piece. Do you see this? The FBI tweet Pablo Picasso was born on this day in 1881 and on his birthday he helped the FBI find one of his missing masterpieces. That is literally, what on earth? That is literally Jay Schlatt. Pablo Picasso painted Jay Schlatt and Schlatt has clearly stolen it. That's my, that's my, um, that's my two cents. He says he won't give it back. I say we report him to the FBI. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on and watch the angry video game nerd. Oh, he's like paranoid. He's like looking out his windows and shit. If I was the angry video game nerd, I would as well. I wouldn't want to upset, upset the average Halo fan. Okay. Laggy. Driving. Okay, so he's just filming himself pretty day to day. He also keeps checking out of windows a lot. He's clearly paranoid about something. And also he's keep frequently checking the time. Is what I'm noticing. So he looks out the window, then checked his watch. And now he's been looking out the window and his alarm's gone off. From what I've been seeing so far, many of these tapes could contain nothing uh, could contain nothing substantial. Although it does seem that Alex wants to have a camera on himself at all times. Yeah, that's what I'm gathering as well. The clip from entry number one is still the best lead I have so far. Hmm. Now I'm curious. Okay, it just says three. Okay, comments are turned off. Interesting. All right. 
No comments on number one. Uh, entry two says first encounter instead of two. Okay, interesting. Comments are also turned off. Oh, anything in introduction? Zero. Okay, cool. On to entry four. Just want to make sure I'm checking everything, making sure there's nothing, you know, we've missed. Oh, missed that. Sorry, what did that say? Entry number four. Okay. Found another tape containing strange footage and no audio track. Okay, is it the park? Why are you at the park, gang? To play. Okay, just two swings that are swinging. And he goes to run. Oh, okay, there's a figure. Is it Slenderman? I, I couldn't quite... And what? Why has he stopped running? This is engine number one of the only clips I have found that do not have sound. I'm starting to suspect that Alex removed the audio himself. Okay, so he's walking around the park. Bad path. Okay, so he sees the swing swinging. So he, he, he goes to dart back. And then... This Donnie here. He... Uh, slow that right down. I'd say that is also Slenderman, right? Didn't look like he had much of a face going on. Didn't look like he was having much of a, f a face. Cartoon sneak type walk. Yeah, he has a, has a little bit of a... <laughs> uh, nope, just a dude. Is it just a dude? It is weird that he then doesn't run off. Like, he runs, stops, searches around. The figure is gone, so he just lingers. Which is weird. Okay. So I suspect that Alex removed the audio himself. Okay, interesting. Uh, oh, already entry five. Five, no comments. Cool. For Marble Hornets began production, I went location scouting with Alex. Okay, he went with, okay. I filmed him talking about the locations he was interested in using. Came across one of the tapes containing this footage that has had its audio severely distorted. All right, it's recording. Okay. Uh, this is the gazebo where I want Brian to come back and reflect. Later in the movie, this will probably be about three-fourths of the way through. This will just be by himself, right? Yeah. Say three-quarters, bro. Why would you say three-fourths? Sorry, that already just just disturbed me. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe putting in... Oh. Oh. All right, I'm turning that down a bit. Apologies. Audio cuts off. And we'll have him like reflect and decide to actually go back to Sarah, try to win her back. Um, and we got a good number of shots here. We have the stream down there. Um, and oh, and there's talking in that. Okay. Oh, loud, 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 loud. Area. It's very, I don't know, secluded, I guess. And around anything, the tier one. Mr. Manifold, three months right. together, Mua. Uh, Mua? Thank you for the Mua. Hang about two seconds. Grilled cheese wheeze! Thank you for the tier one. I think I'm gonna... Guys, someone distorted it purposely in the mouth. I think I'm gonna give it a little gander, either on YouTube or do it myself, because I think the audio probably has a hidden message in it, if I was to guess. Sounds like there's it, oh, that, or you'll be able to figure out what he's Hope saying you underneath well. it. I don't know Almost which one. A whole year, yay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the near, near year of subs. Uh, 
Oh, this is fine. Uh, I might also have Tim there at some point. Uh, are sitting around thinking about the past. You know, just yeah, talking about. Days gone by. Um, I really like this place. Man. We have the tree that marks off our entire shooting area, and we also have these uh, really tall trees right in the middle, which personally I just think look really cool. What's that? Tall red thing over there. Seven. That's like an old climbing wall. Uh, I can't remember if it was a climbing wall. Even seven. The fire department. Jesus Christ, let's get the fuck out of me. I wasn't reading the subtitles. <laughs> Guys, I think it's day one. One year pause. Funny number. Way! Funny live. Thank you for the uh, sex number. Subs. The latest would you rather question doing the rounds. Would you rather take one inch off your height and add to your D or take one inch off your D and add it to your height? Lose my whole penis to be one inch taller. I'd have to say no. I'd have to say no. I'd have to say no. It's tempting, but I'd have to say no. We can go here if it's easy for you guys. Someone said it was. I was covering the subtitles a bit. In addition to the audio distortions, there have also been numerous instances of visual tearing. I've noticed these occurring in previous entries as well. That is true. I did spot these. I didn't spot that one, but I spotted the other two. It is possible that I missed other occurrences of this in tapes that I have already watched. This one intrigues me, and I want to say that someone, I would imagine, probably, um, let's have a look. Marble Hornets Entry 5 uh, Audio. Entry six. Uh, okay, so everyone's talking about entry six, and I'm, that's not what I'm on. I'm on entry five. Okay, that's. I mean, I could I could sit here and do the audio myself, but I. I don't think it's. <laughs> maybe it gets answered later. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't think it's significant enough right now to to waste any time on. Let's go straight over to entry six. This one seems to be important because there's a lot of fucking videos about this one. One inch Punisher lol. Why would you say that? Please. It's not what we're discussing right now. Come on now. Entry six. I found the following clip at the beginning of a new tape. This could be the continuation of entry one, which took place at the end of the tape. Wait, what? Entry six. Sorry, let me just... And the following clip at the beginning of a new tape. OMFG, you are watching one of my absolute favorites analogy horror series. Oh, thank you, the man. The point I collect take comic the creators are doing that continues the story Yeast Alex is messed up. Wow, wait, they're still fucking expanding this shit? Holy hell. Wow. Handjob, thank you for the prime. I, I shocked I didn't say that. Wow. Two months, I'm baby subscriber heart. Wait, sorry, let me read this. Entry six. Found the following clip at the beginning of a new tape. Oh, okay, so it's beginning of a new tape. The real mom, thank you for the 18th. 18, 18 months. 18 months. This could be the continuation of entry one, which took place at the end of a tape. Okay, All right, so it's saying six is continuation of one. Still no audio. Oh yeah, Slenderman was was outside. Oh, and he still is. So why then? Oh my that's cool as fuck. That looked sick. Wait, go on. Do that again. Ha! That is sick! That's class. How do they do that? 
Wow. Fucking little YouTube series in 2009 doing that shit. Impressed. I'm very impressed by that. Cool as fuck. That is sick. Right. So people have posted this a shit ton with audio. And what I'm curious about is where they managed to find that audio. I get the impression that somewhere along this sort of trail, we're going to find the audio. In fact, Palmy even has a small, small little thing. Small little idea that the distortions in here maybe make the audio for that, but that seems too obvious. Also, apparently, apparently, there are hidden videos. And now, usually I'm quite good at spotting the sh shit like that, but so far, I've seen absolutely nothing that would indicate new videos, which is why I'm a little bit confused. Doesn't feature any other channels. Okay, there is... Uh, uh, links DVD. What does that mean? Okay, cool. Oh, wait. You can... Oh, you can buy Marble Hornet stuff. Huh. This is what you're talking about, huh? DVDs. You can buy it on DVD? Oh, you can. Huh. Interesting. Didn't know that. Very interesting. Okay, interesting. Bizarre Tommy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, I'm intrigued by this. I'm enjoying this series. It, it has my little investigative investigative brain itching, itching for knowledge. Anyway, entry seven, I guess. Patterns emerging. Hmm. The tape I just watched consisted entirely of raw footage from Marble Hornets. Oh, so from the film. Other than Brian, Alex also seems to be talking to a girl off camera at one point. I don't like that my apartment just shook. And still is. I can feel vibrations. I don't live on a very high up floor. Like, I don't live in a very tall apartment building. So it really bothers me when that happens. You know, if I was really high up, I'd expect some movement. But, like, this moves quite a lot. Start again. Let's start again. Let's start again. To look at you. Let me start this. Okay. Earthquake? I don't think so. It only shook a little bit, but enough that I felt it. Let's start again. Let's start again. Let's start again. To look at you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, I'm rolling. And uh, just a second with me. I thought you were talking to her. No. Crap, I just lost this script. I'm sorry. And I'm talking to Brian. What the fuck is that? And I'm mm. talking to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't say anything because the camera picks it up. All right, you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna feed me Tim's lines? Uh, yeah, in a second. All right. Okay. Action. I don't know. This town just doesn't feel the same to me anymore. I missed it so much when I was in college. But now that I'm back, I just feel like a depressed teenager all over again. Stuck in a loop of unhappiness. Maybe you've grown up? I don't know. Maybe this town has grown up. Maybe it has. Alright, good. <laughs> Is that it? That was the whole scene? Shit was corny. Are we gonna do it again? Everyone's saying de Connor Connery's pants. He reminds me of Sneak for some reason. Are we? No. We're done. That's it? Yeah, we're done. Okay. The fuck? Someone was following Alex. 
Oh. Patterns emerging. Huh. Jesus Christ, yeah, it is nine hours long. Fuck me. Okay. Weird. Entry eight. Go back. Look at the background behind Brian. Done. Oh, yeah, bro is there. Bro is chilling. Oh, that's clever. He kept his head so still throughout the whole thing. Feel the same to me anymore. That's good. I didn't spot that. I missed it so much when I was in college. But now that I'm back, I just feel like a depressed teenager all over again. Stuck in a loop of unhappiness. Maybe you've grown up? I don't know. Maybe this town has grown up. Maybe it has. Alright, good. <sighs> Yeah, he's back there. Shit. Are we gonna do it again? Are we? No, we're done. That's it? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Have you noticed that, and this is just me. Um, he's peeking, he's peeking. Have you noticed, he's peeking, he's peeking! <laughs> but um, I didn't notice it either, but one thing I, I've noticed is, um, or one thing I, might, I, I think might be true uh, that, that would so far line up with what we've seen is that proximity to Slenderman seems to affect the audio in the camera, which would make sense given that, that in the games it causes all the static and shit. So my brain is like, okay, proximity to Slenderman generally causes the camera to fuck up. Because that way... The, uh, that would explain why the audio in the two, no, the three clips where he's been really fucking close to him, there's been no audio at all, which would dictate that in the clip then where they are location scouting, he's chilling. And not that I've spotted him, but it would, it, but it would imply that he's kicking about somewhere. And it's in the woods, which again, judging by the game, that makes sense. Um, which then means, but then equally, does it mean that the camera goes funny? You know what I mean? Like entry three, if we go back to entry three, does he distort the camera beyond the audio as well? Meaning that that would also be what's causing what's about to happen in a second. Give it a second. It'll happen in a sec. Tearing. There you go. You saw the tearing there. Uh, it seems that. He, so he is constantly being fucking stalked by Slenderman because there's constant tearing throughout these clips where he's just filming himself all the time. What I want to know is why he's checking the time, though. So he checks the time, then ends the camera, and then in this one, he his alarm goes off, and he turns off the camera. So he checks the window, judges the time somehow, the thing comes, which I don't quite understand that yet, but... To know where the tape is running out, maybe. Oh, he's setting timers so he can replace the tape so that he can always be filming. And that's why he's going to the store to buy more and like shed loads of fucking tape so he can just constantly be filming. That does actually make sense. But then, why would he get, he was gonna burn the tapes. Hmm. I wonder what, what made him stop filming and therefore want to burn the tapes. Or he gave it away. Hmm. Interesting. Someone said maybe it's the watch distorting. It depends if he... Uh, maybe he does distort other... Uh, maybe he checks the watch if the watch starts being all fucking weird. And he's like, oh, the Slenderman's kicking around. Makes sense. Maybe. I don't know. Either way. Number nine. I've never seen Alex act the way he does in the following raw footage from Marble Hornets. Seemed really oh, that's it. Ever since he came back, you know? I mean, have you talked to him at all? No. Well, uh, did he come back because of you? Because he never told me why he was here. And? I mean, have you talked to him at all? No. Well, uh, did There's a child's voice in my right ear in that clip. Can you hear it? 
Jack, you're on eight. Did I skip one? I thought I didn't. Oh yeah, I, I did. Shit. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I did skip one. All right, we'll watch that. But also, I definitely did hear a child's voice. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Entry eight. You're right. I, I just got. I just um, was thinking about the camera stuff. Did not notice any visual tearing anywhere in this tape. However, the audio does cut out, which would imply again. Oh, the notes. Holy shit, I didn't realize this was Slender Man. Like, I really didn't know that. I, God almighty. I had no idea that this is what, like, Spider-Man was... Uh, Spider this is what inspired Spider-Man. As we all know, guys, the great Stanley watched Marvel Hornets on YouTube in 2009. He went, hello, super fans. I have this great idea for you. And he, he created Spider-Man. Um, that's... <laughs> fuck's sake. Slenderman. I had no idea Slenderman was, uh, was inspired by this. That's, that's fucking wild, man. Let's do it. Let's do five. You may need Tay Channel to Tay Arc loaded as well as that run alongside this series later on. Yeah, I've heard there's more. There's hidden videos and stuff. My guess is that, that I, I, as far as I'm aware, there's literally been no hidden details, no URLs, no... I've checked all the comments, all the descriptions. I don't... Unless there was a Twitter page or something running al alongside this at the time, which I don't appear, it doesn't appear there is. Uh, I don't think so far there's been any links to a secret channel. Although there is one and they may be being uploaded. Captions, mayhaps? I don't think so. Forgot to subscribe last month, but I'm back on the manifold grind. It's gone now. I think it's going to be difficult because comments are disabled and there were important comments. Oh, oh, is that what it is? It makes me really happy to see you watching Marble Hornets. Shit. This is my favorite series. I've watched it four times. More people. Slender came before this. No, I know that. I, I know Slender came, but it. I mean like the game and stuff. Like this really popularized it. Hello, Jack Manifold. How are you today? 18 months. Cool. The later videos of the series are accessible, but it's very hard to get to them. Oh, that's so shit. Okay, so let me pull up the other channel then. Two. Nine months. Right. Fucking hell, Jack. When you see it, your shit breaks. Um, give me two seconds. Okay. That's annoying. Maybe I will have to use the playlist. I really wanted to do it the way it should have been done. You know what I mean? In released order. Okay, this is in released order. Oh, I actually haven't missed anything yet. I haven't missed anything yet. So far, we're actually even... Even with the to the arc channel, I I'm on I'm on. Uh, the, uh, we haven't. There's no to the arc stuff that would have came out by this point. It maybe in in law chronological order, but in release in date order, I'm not there yet. User. By the way, 15 months. I am so based in real. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I I pulled up a different playlist, not the one that goes in law order, because that's confused. I, I'd rather work out the law myself. I'd rather do it in release order, but I found a release order playlist, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll do that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Marvel Hornets, Spider Man's the main main antagonist. I like that. Okay. Um. Wait, no, we were using this scene. It was slightly less obstructed. Okay, so we're on uh, eight, 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 eight. They used the video response back in 2009 YouTube. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. I forget how old this is, and a lot of the YouTube features that would link the videos together are removed, like how you can do responses, and, and yeah, that's my bad. That, fair enough. We will use the playlist then to find us the hidden videos, because I literally don't think there's, there's ways of finding them anymore that are, like, natural. It's such an old series. And a visual tearing, but the audio does cut out. Okay, so he's scribbling the, the, the less slender man notes. Okay, the audio cuts, and he seems to recognize that immediately. How? The rest of the tape remains too dark to see, and the audio never comes back. Interesting that he seems to immediately recognize the fact that, that like, like, the audio, like, Slenderman's in the fucking vicinity, because he knows the second the audio... Watch. Like he's, he's scribbling... Audio cuts, he fucking stops immediately. He knows. Which is interesting. Because I wonder what he saw, heard. Like, what, what are we not seeing that alerted him? 
Just curious. Interesting. I might find out. Anyway, entry nine. Just want to say be real. Are we be reeling right now? Oh, it's time to be real. We've only got two. Okay. Oh, we got 18 seconds to take it. We got 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 it. We posted that shit. We got it. Hey, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it on time. We got that shit on time. I don't know if we got you guys saying hi. Sorry, you might have been too late, but I only had 18 seconds. I couldn't risk being late this time. Anyway, let's get back on with this. Uh, yeah, anyway, never seen Alex act the way he does. Okay. It seemed really distant ever since. But yeah, there's a little girl talking about right here in this one. And? I mean, have you talked to him at all? No. Well, uh, did he come back because of you? Because he never told me why he was here. Doesn't really matter, does it? He left me when he went off to the city, and that's that. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. So, I mean, what's, what's, what's the plan now for you? What's next? I'm not really gonna do anything. We're gonna do it again. The pacing still feels weird. It's, it doesn't sound like a conversation. You guys still sound like you're reading off of the script. Let's just, just have a conversation. Let's do it again. Still, still, he takes, still. Can we go yet? Action. Well, no. Hmm. Hmm. Why is everyone saying you bought your dog? I, oh, bro. I, I, every time I look over, that happens and I don't know what it means. You know what I mean? It's a reference. I hear it now. Yeah, the kid, they're in a park. There's also a weird popping from behind the camera. No, we can't. No, sorry. That's Action. Well, no, no, we can't. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. That's what happens when you come out of a public place. Oh, it's real. I didn't have anything to do later today. Yeah, you know. I know. Why would you have anything to do anyway? You knew you were coming on set. You knew this could take a while. Yeah, it was Obviously, supposed to be an afternoon shoot, though. You guys would do it right. The first time. Afternoon shoot. I didn't even buy lunch. Let's, just do, Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Just stop. All right. Action. You seem really distant ever since he came back. Cut yeah? from the beginning. Rolling. What? Roll. Did you not have it recording during the break? I told you to keep the camera recording at all times. Oh. How long was it all? I forgot for a second. You forgot. I. I gave you one job. All you're supposed to do is come in here, set up the camera, make sure it doesn't fall over, and press record once. You don't stop it at all. I made this extremely clear. If this, hey, if this is going to go on for a while, can I get a script again? You're just saving time on the tapes. Saving time. You helped me load up the car. You know how many tapes we have. If we run out of time on this tape, we'll get another. It's not a problem. I mean... How clear do I have to make it before you listen? I mean, get off. You brought your dog! <laughs> okay. How many sets is that? Memorize your lines. It's just a mistake. Memorize your lines. Maybe we'll get through this a little bit faster. Memorize right? your lines. Just don't, just don't read them right off the page. Oh, okay. You gotta be a little bit more human with it. Because don't I've be had so... the script in every scene. Exactly. Yeah, you know, act. How about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's real nice, you know, considering how much you're paying us and everything. Why would I pay you for what you're giving me? I mean, really. Oh, that's, yeah, that's real nice. This is what I say to Tommy in it every time he's in a vlog. I go, why would I pay for you? Why would I pay for this? Terrible, awful, but awful. But gonna work with you with this attitude. That's what he says to me. And yeah, you already spent I'm so sorry. much money on tapes, you can't afford it. He's not wrong. Anyway. Let's just get it done with, all right? Let's just get it done. I'm sorry. Just don't stop recording. It's not a problem. Playing tapes. Okay, fine. Sorry. Alex seems to have been filming himself constantly even before he stopped work on Marble Hornets. Okay. Whoever had been following Alex seems to have stressed him to the point of it affecting his personality. Yeah, I mean, I'd be stressed over being fucking- Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God almighty, this fucking playlist just fucked me! Oh my Jesus! Oh fucking hell!
Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> that really got me, I'll be honest. I, I forgot that it was an autoplay playlist. Uh, I wasn't ready for the next episode yet. Oh, fuck it out. That one was loud. Oh. All right. All right, we're fine. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. This is one of the videos on the To The Ark channel. I don't know what it means. Apparently, this was the next one that was chronologically uploaded. Um, so, this is what we're watching next. I don't know how it fits in. I don't know what the To The Ark channel particularly is. We could have a quick look at it, see what it seems to be about. So, check entry number nine, see if it has anything in its description, because I didn't check. It just says nine. Fair enough. Um, so, this is everything uploaded to... Holy fuck. Okay, quite a lot, actually. Um, but nothing in the about section. Nothing, nothing. Doesn't appear to have anything. So, no idea what the To The Ark channel is or its correlation uh, as of right now. But we know, uh, I think it was a YouTube response uh, to what I assume is Entry 9. Because it seems it goes... So, for the from after Entry 9, it seems to go Entry 9, a To The Ark upload. Entry 10, a To The Ark upload. Entry 11, to the Ark upload. And it seems to just do that for a very long time, which implies that the to the Ark uploads were all responses to the main entries. So I'm going to assume that that is what was happening. That's my guess. Um, I think the channel was made to upload everything that would have been broken from YouTube updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I, I'm guessing that, you know. Comments on TTF spoilers. Be careful, by the way. That's absolutely fine. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 cool. But anyway, this is apparently the first um, one. Uh, let's see. Fucking hell, I forgot how loud that was. Let me turn that down a bit. Okay, lots of slashes, lots of slashes. They get bigger, smaller. Almost like a little door, closely. And then it's straight onto entry 10. All it says was closely. More missing audio. In entry 10. Okay. Is it Morse code? God, that's so fucking loud. I hate that. Makes me feel... It makes me go like... Ugh, horrible sound. How would that be Morse code? What, what, what's the... Impl I mean, I can try. Where's a... Do I have a notepad? I don't. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll just do it on my phone. Okay, uh, flicking could be Morse code. Could be. All right, cool. Uh, beep. Okay, let me watch that. Okay, wait, hold on. Sorry. Dot. Dot. It. You see, but it gets bigger, and that's confusing. It's when it gets bigger that it gets confusing. Hold on. Let me... Dot. 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 Does it seem like a... Dot. Okay. Every, is the, it's the word look, yes, but I'm trying to... How can it be the word look? Um, Morse code... Tr-de-de-coder. Uh. Oh. Uh, shit, what was it saying for dashes? Uh, type your message, normal text, or most, most code using...
You see, if it's dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 that's just SOS. Right? Sorry, I'm just, I want to get my head around this. See, I got that as dash, dot, dot. Dot, dot. Dash. Dash dot dot. That's why. That's dud. That's dud. It's a cipher. I, if it's Morse code, I've got that as dud. 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 It's, it's XQC. Fucking XQC around this channel. This is what it was. Let me tell you, dud. Dud. You're being stalked by Slenderman, dud. Dud. You're literally being stalked. You're literally being gang stalked, dud. That's all, I'm, that's all I've got from it. I got dud. Photoshop up the brightness. I don't think that's going to have anything. But yeah, I, I got the yeah, in the Morse code. Marble Hornet Slender has referred to the operator. Yeah, no, I gathered that, don't worry. Um. Hmm. Wait, sorry, let me just. It's dash dash dot. Dash dash dot, and that might change it. That's good. How, so everyone's saying it says look, but what I want to understand, what I think, I, I believe you, because it, realistically it's going to, it's likely to say look closely, and I agree with you. Absolutely, that probably is the case. How are we getting there? How are we getting to that conclusion? Like, what are we, how are we, spaces? I'm just really... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, let me slow this down. And I also just crank down the audio. I don't think the audio has anything to do with it. Let's just get doing my fucking ears a disservice. Two different blocks consisting of forward slash flicker on string. Counting the number of forward slashes in a column or row will give you a number. Each number... Oh, here we go. Someone's giving me the, the, the sort of tricks here. Three different blocks consisting of a forward slash flicker on string. Counting the number of forward slashes in a column or row will give you a number. 12, 15, and 11. Each number corresponds to a letter in the alphabet. L, O, and K. Adding another O and combining this with the word closely shown on video creates the message. Interesting. Okay. Because those are different, actually, now I look at them. Oh, are they? I hold on. I just want to, like, get to the bottom of it. I just want to get to the bottom of it. You know what I mean? Three different blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, so they are like cubed. Okay. And then that one is okay. So yeah, you could you could okay. So it's L O and K, and then adding another O. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it now. It's yeah. Every time it changes size, it's a new letter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it says look closely. I understand. I got it. I wrap my head around it. Okay. Anyway, let's go on to entry ten. Entry ten. Sorry. Right. We got it now. Found another troubling clip. Whatever was following Alex has him running now. No audio. Oh. He fell, I think. No. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, he's in the forest somewhere. Okay, there he is. There's the slant and then he legs it again. Okay. Make sure to keep captions on. They still are, don't worry. Okay. Oh, that was a little face. <laughs> oh, you made me jump there, lads. Why did you stick your little face in? Was that his face? Whose face was that? Is that Alex? Why does he look like that? It looked like a fucking zombie. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> like an evil zombie for a second. He fucking scared me. Oh, there he is. And then he likes it again. Oh, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Come on now. More missing audio. Uh, show transcript. Literally nothing. Okay. And that is English. Cool. Uh, captions are on. Okay. Well, interesting. So, he's now being chased. And that just said, look closely, but I, it doesn't appear to be in reference to that. Bizarre Tommy, thank you for the five. I appreciate you. I really do. Oh, we didn't run the top of the hour ad. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to run the ad while I thank some subs. If you're not a sub, it doesn't matter. You're only going to miss out on thanking subs, which you're not one of. So, you know, but if you don't want to watch any ads, please do sub. Really was appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a little break just to, uh, to thank some subs while um, a, a minute long ad runs. Really don't worry. Everyone's screaming no. It will take a minute of your time and then we continue watching the show. You will be okay. I promise you. Trust me. Trust me, you'll be okay. If you can't subscribe, it's fine. Watching the ad supports me a lot. And it, it's a minute long. You will live. I promise. Please spare us. I simply shall not. But anyway. Without... Staying with Hassan changed you. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, the only cam cam for the prime. You won't be watching an ad, my friend. Get in. Anyway, right. You gotta turn the ads on now. Three, two, one. A whole minute! This generation is screwed. Hi, Jack. Hope We're watching a nine a hour sleep. series and Smiley one minute of ads Happy is killing people. Halloween. Thank you. Thank you for the happy almost Halloween. Who was that? Let me thank the subs while we're at it. Um, thank you to Alaskan Comrade for the eight months total. 3D Fangs, thank you for the prime. This is bring me back to my peak creepy pasta phase days for real. This is Hope so cool. I'm really this enjoying this. You're having a good day. I'm really enjoying this. It's cool. I'm having a very good day. Sam Bambai. From one baldy to another. I hope her well. It's her fault that I, as a woman, am bald. I'm sorry for shaving your head off. I mean hair. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Cheers, Shan. Thank you for the two months. Uh, knock to shadow. Straight from watching your reaction. Don't hold me. I'm scared of season one to this. I'm having a good day. I'm glad. I watched the first episode of season two today. I'm not sure what I thought of Don't Hug Me. I'm scared season two. I watched the first episode today because I don't think I can watch it on stream. So I figured I'd just, I'd just watch it and then, you know, just see. My I'm with 55 seconds. A That's five seconds less. You're all right. Mind. Anyway, welcome back, non-ad viewers. Uh, I mean, welcome back, ad viewers. I thank some of the uh, subs, and I really do appreciate them all. Thank you ever so much. But anyway, um, we are watching... Uh, uh, we're, we're going back to watching Marble Hornets. But before we do, we I was speaking about... Uh, I watched Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. The first episode of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared season two. Because I realized I couldn't watch it on stream. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just watch it in my own time. So I, I got some ramen and, and sat down and watched the first episode earlier. I'm not sure what I think yet. I don't know what I think yet. I... I didn't think it was all that funny, and I didn't think it was... It quite had the same fear factor either. So I don't really know what I think. I liked elements of it. I really... I did quite... I kind of enjoyed the episode. Don't get me wrong. 
but it, it feels toned down on the horror, and the comedy is toned up, but I don't think it's great. Red Guy can be quite funny, but I feel like the, the, the joke with Red Guy is observational comedy, which generally is something I quite like, but like he'll just point out when things are weird. He'll be like, well, like a lot of it does that. Like he's a, like, it feels like it's, because obviously it's like a spoof children's show, right? And it feels like it's just pointing fun. Like it's like the, when the briefcase shows up holding a briefcase, he's like, he's holding a briefcase. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of funny that he's holding one of himself, I guess. I, I don't know. I just don't know what I think yet. I don't know what I think yet. I'm willing to give it more of a chance. Do not get me wrong. Um, I'm really willing to give it more of a chance, but I'm just, I'm not sold yet, you know? Sam the Human, no caller ID, just called me and I picked up. It was just static. No! The Slender Man! The first episode is weak compared to the other five, don't worry. Okay, I'll, I'll give it more of a chance. It's not season two. It, it, look, in my head, it's roughly season two. But, um... Yeah, I, I'll, I'll watch more of it. I'll watch more of it. See what it's like, definitely. Uh, I just, um... You know. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Don't die, you might not live. Very good advice. Anyway, back on to, um... Marvel Hornets, shall we? Entry number 10. I oh, know we watched this one, so we're on up right now. God, these are loud. This channel is so fucking loud. Lakes in stillness will take every life of the night. I think this is a brightness one. I think it's a brightness one. I think I spotted it even with my... <laughs> so I can just about maybe see something over there as well. This might... Is this a brightness one? Look at the capital letters. Alright, that could be something as well. Uh, Liz... List, air, listen. Listen. All right, so it says listen, but what am I listening to? My guess is it's the it's the audio from another entry, and everyone's saying ten. I'm like that makes sense because it, it followed ten, but it doesn't line up with time. What does it? But does it line up with time with something else? Is my thought. It doesn't. Does it line up with eight? When does the so twenty two, which would mean what? 26 seconds long, 36. That means four, 14 seconds in. If the audio cuts on this. Mm, roughly. Okay, it picks up the camera. Turns off the light. Everyone says reverse it. Is there an easy way of doing that on YouTube? Do I have to, right, if I revert, reversing it's gonna take a second. Give me, give me a second then. Okay, wait, hang on.
I don't think reversing it's going to do anything, but I can do it really quick just to just to put that 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 to bed. Just to just to quell the the reverses in chat. Uh, hold on then. Uh, so let me actually let me import it first. Okay. Just so everyone's satisfied, uh, I'm gonna. I forgot you do this in fucking Audacity. It's been a while. Uh, okay. Whole thing. How do you right click? How do you reverse again? Uh, what do you do? Select. Oh, it's been so fucking long since I did this. Effect. Reverse. Okay, cool. This is it. Reverse. Just for anyone who. <laughs> It doesn't sound like it's reversed. This sounds weird. Yeah, no, I'd say it was it was quite all right in its normal form. I think it was fine anyway. I don't think I, I think I was a waste of my time. I think you made me waste my time. But entry ten's so long. That's what I can't wrap my head around. Like, there's no audio throughout it, so it's like at what stage? At what stage is it the audio from? Assuming the last 20 seconds, maybe? This has comments. Uh, what are the comments saying? I'm just gonna s Everyone's saying it's 10. I'll just, I'll believe them. I'm gonna choose to believe people because I'm, I'm a trust, trusting man. Thanks for the sub, by the way. I appreciate Seven it. Seven months already. LMAO. Didn't read that. Have a great time. stream, bald king. Entry eleven. I found another clip of a closing clap. However, I don't think Alex was aware of it. Ao two months poggers. Hope you've had a great day so far. Thank and you. I also hope you enjoy Marble Hornets. I'm enjoying it so far. Most of us in the creepy pasta community have considered this a part of our community for years. Keep being amazing, Jack. Thank you. I appreciate it. 13 months. Holy moly. I sub for the horror content. Thank you very much, Mr. Man. Cheers. I like it a lot. I enjoy the horror content. Stan Luna. Indeed. Thank you for the eight months. I didn't say anything. I... I didn't spot anything. Okay, so def... But the audio didn't cut, which would imply that it's all okay, right? How do you sleep with this going on, bro? This shit was happening to me, I would not get a wink. Oh, oh, the shadow. The shadow. The, the shadow. Was that what, what it was? It was the shadow, right? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Go back. Was there something still? I didn't spot anything else. Like, I didn't spot anything. It's just the shadow over here. That's all I saw. And then the, the pages kind of move. Watch. Shadow. And a little bit of a bit of movement. 
But if it was Slender Man, why the fuck did um? Why didn't the camera audio cut? Or there was, or and I don't quite recall seeing any um. Slice slicing. I can't, can't, can't think what it's called now. No real distortion in the camera. Just, it, just interesting. Just interesting. Which implies that it wasn't... Everyone's saying hoodie. So I, I'm i gathering so far that there are there is more than just Slenderman. And when you say hoodie, if I was to guess, I would say Slender the Arrival had that character that would chase you down. Uh, forgotten its fucking name. But the one that would chase you, you had to shine it with a flashlight. Wouldn't be shocked if that is the character, maybe? Incorrect. Oh, wait. Some people said yeah. Incorrect. Oh, my bad. My bad. I tried. I tried. I tried my best. I tried my best. All right. But this, uh, either way, I'm gathering there's another thing stalking uh, Alex because no distortion would imply that it's not Slenderman or the operator. Anyway. I love frogs. Even tier one. Dilute. Hmm, what's it saying? Uh, I'm just gonna see. Guys, it's obviously. Okay, great. F Deluge is apparently a great flood. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't read the, the operator. Yes. Huh. What does that mean? Yes. Anyway. Um. Oh, everyone, this one is reverse. Everyone's saying in reverse, it says Alex. I believe that sounds about right. Let me just quickly check. Just give me two seconds. I reckon they're actually right this time. Last time, I think you're all a bunch of fucking liars. This time, I think you're right. I actually think you've hit the nail on the head. I think that is saying Alex. I don't like the... So, there's a lot of flood imagery with To The Ark. That would make sense. It's called To The Ark, which I don't know if you know this. Noah built one of those, and it was reet big, and it had all animals on it, including the Slender Man, who was the biggest animal of them all. Oh, I downloaded it as a fucking... Oh, shit. More. Fucking broke audacity. Hold on, because I tried to open an MP4 in it like a twat. Hold on. My bad. I downloaded the wrong thing. Give me a second. Slenderman on Noah's Ark. What will he do? Not drown, I assume. Also, he probably hates water. I mean, if he's anything like the Enderman from, you know, uh, Minecraft. Deluge. There we go. Okay, so I, I would say it says Alex. Let's see, though. Uh, reverse. Effects reverse. Let's give it a listen. It's loud. That's definitely saying Alex, yeah. Yeah, he says Alex. He definitely says Alex. Cool. Well, there we are. We got it. We know what it says. It's just saying Alex. What it means so far, don't know, but it's saying Alex. M -m -m Minecraft! I don't know why people are saying that in chat, because I mentioned the Enderman. Hmm? Okay, either way, it says Alex a bunch. And it shows like a light flickering. I don't think it's flashing like Morse code or anything, unless it is. I mean, we could give it a. We could give it a quick little decipher if we want. I don't know. Oh, it's really hard to do that while I'm...
I don't think that's most. I'm gonna be real. I don't think it is. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No. People are saying generally. I think at this point, it's not super fucking deep. It's not like the fucking FNAF timeline yet. It's it's pretty straightforward. Seems inconsistent to be Morse code. Yeah, it was. Looks too fast. Yeah, I was trying to dot and dash it as it was happening. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm like, either I'm no sea captain or this is hard. I found another... And I have sailed boats several times. So, you know, clearly, clearly, it is my fault. I actually did. You know, I sailed a boat through the canals of Amsterdam. Have, uh, having never sailed a boat before, the guys who owned the boat went, yeah, you're gonna have a go driving. And then we got to a really tight canal and they went, all right, we'll take over here. I went, no, 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 please, let, let me have a go at least. Let me see if I can get this boat down this tight canal. And I fucking steered it and I lined it up perfectly. And I drove us right down the canal. And they were like, the boys are natural. I was very, I'm just saying, let me drive the boat. I was that guy. I was literally, I, I was... Smiley face. Let me drive the boat. That was me, except not the part with the stick. Imagine if he went perfectly through a tunnel at hundreds of miles an hour, that would have been me. All right. Uh, another clip with heavy distortion. Oh, shit. Uh, another clip with heavy... I found another clip with heavy distortion in it. Alex is acting more like himself. So earlier on, you would assume? Uh, I don't know. Hilmer. Uh, let's go ahead and get this shot. It's so okay. hot. Almost. Oh, it's right behind my... I'm moving over here because I have a weird feeling about this little opening here. So I'm just going to, you know... Uh, as long as we have the camera shot, just get set to control it, and we'll be out of here in a Are we doing live? Not in this part. We're okay. just... Uh, Walking to the river, and that's when you guys will start picking up. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my fucking toes curled. Oh, God. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever. As we cross into the frame. All right. I hope so. Yeah, there he is. Let's get him off the. I hope he's not angry at us. Hey, buddy. What's he doing? Okay, but I'd say that was earlier on because everyone else didn't seem to wreck it. Like, everyone went, oh, there's Tim, so I'm going to assume they misrecognized him. I hope so. Off the yeah. I hope he's not angry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing that this is. They all see him. Yeah, that's what throws me off as well. Like, the one thing about this whole story that really, like, bothers me a bit is other people, uh, now especially, other people have now seen this fucking weird figure. Because, yeah, they saw, they saw him as they were driving down the road. Like... I was walking about uh, 20 minutes ago, so around midnight. This was near the set of Marble Hornets. Uh, a little bit farther down the road, we saw this really tall guy standing in the middle of the street, just completely still. For whatever reason, this really set off Rocky. So th this was the first encounter you would assume, right? Near the set of Marble Hornets. And then all of a sudden... Cool. I hope so. And that's about as far as we're going to go. We don't want to tag you. That would be gross. Here's Tim. Let's get him. Off the I hope he's not angry at it. Hey, buddy. But what gets me is if his friends have seen it, right? And I'm fucking, uh, I'm, I'm Alex. I'm being fucking stalked by this lanky fucker. I'd be like, guys, I'm being stalked. I have evidence. Here's all my video footage. You saw him yourself. Help me report this to the correct authorities. Also, like, 
And then that's why I'm confused. Like, where in this instance, he doesn't say to his friend, it's that fucking guy. He just goes, we no, we're leaving. It's weird. Why, why does Alex not tell anyone? Why does I'm Alex not use his mouth to tell people? It's just weird. It's just weird. He's obviously scared. Yeah, if I was scared, you know what I'd be doing? Telling people. Because that would make me feel less scared and alone. I just don't get it. Impurity. Very religious terminology. Begin. Oh, okay. I'll analyze that in a second. Yeah, flooding stuff. Rain and that. Seemingly nothing. Operator. There was a oh, shit. That's hard to read. T H E R E. There. Space. There was was mre Oh, there was more. Of course, the zeros. Yeah, the the. There was m more. You could assume one of these is like an O somewhere in there, I guess, right? There was more. There was more. What I don't get, though, is... Is, that, is this of any significance? Let me watch that again. There was more? But what, yeah, what, what was there more of? What? Hmm. It's a bit eerie. My phone just made a sound. It's... There was more. Oh, oh, more than the operator, maybe? More than the operator. That's what I'm, 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 I'm. I'm leading with that right now. I was close by. And the description for this is just, you know. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, of course, because it says operator just beforehand. So it says operator, and then it says there was more. So, yeah, it could be more tapes, but I'm going to say it's more than the operator it's implying, and that would be backed up by the fact that there was that shadowy figure that didn't distort the camera. So that's, that's, that's the bullshit we on right now. Entry 13. This is an unlucky one. Yeah, this one's kind of low. Um, Do you have the extra one? No. That would make sense, right? I think, I think that's a good, I think it's a good uh, sort of a uh, level to, to see. I'm in the car. Uh, can you go get it? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah, this one's kind of low. Battery, um, I see. Do you have the extra one? No, I think I locked it in the car. Uh, can you go get it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, where is it? Uh, I think I locked it in the passenger seat. Okay. If not, the trunk. All right. I'm going to keep on going, though, so yeah, just... Okay. What's this? Oh, the symbol, the channel symbol. Huh.
Hmm. Wait, hold on. I think I'm going though, so just... Okay. Okay, he's gonna meet him down there, so he's gonna keep going. That's, that's what I said, I was just curious. Sorry. Okay. Ah! Oh, I hate the fucking noises sometimes. They really put me on edge. <laughs> that's not like that. Fucking MLG sound effect. Audio cuts out, but where? Where is he? Oh, he... Okay, he's recognized that something's gone off. So at this point, he's he's familiarized with the operator. Wait, isn't this the shower block from the game? No. Maybe? I can't tell. Oh, never mind. There he was. Okay. I was close by. Do we know who... Okay, so his name is Jay. Who the fuck is our guy? What's his name again? That's up, right? Yeah. Uh, oh! So Jay is our guy. Which means that that... So this is Jay, the, the guy who's releasing all the clips currently. So when he says I was nearby, he's talking about this. Because he, he was. Okay, got it. Jay's our guy. Cool. Exit. Let's see what this is. Remember me. Very weird. Rat he oh Ra ratio. It's a ratio. It's a rat, rat he ho. Rat he ho. Ratio. He ratioed him. That's why Slenderman's fucking gang stalking him. He, he ratioed him on Twitter.com. That's what I said. Well, that's what he said. We'll go back. We'll go back. Watch. Rat he or oh oh shit. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Rat he or top. Oh, okay, that's Jay. Who the fuck is filming Jay? Oh, what the fuck? That's Alex, is it? Is that Alex? Because isn't that the shirt Jay was just wearing in Entry 13, right? No? If not, the trunk. Alright. Do you not think that's him? And also he's checking the passenger seat of... Oh wait, that's the driver's seat. I'm, I'm British, I have to think about this sometimes. That's the, pass that's the driver's seat actually in the US. Oh, and he does have glasses on. Shit, wait, no, that isn't Alex. That is Alex, you're right. Wait, that is Jay. Okay, that is Jay. Everyone's saying that is Jay. But why does he check the driver's side? He was told to check the passenger's side. Let's to this. Thank you for 100 subs today, by the way. Really do appreciate that. But Jay doesn't usually have glasses, but they are... Jay didn't have glasses, though. Let's turn it down a bit. It could get quite loud. Oh, sorry, what, what, what did he say? Slow that shit down. Where is, where is the ark? So to the arc. Okay. Okay. So now I'm getting the perspective that Okay, so we've we've had implications. Let's just look closely. The operator one says listen. That's some audio. Deluge just says Alex over and over again. Impurity is the rain and it says there's more of them and Exit uh, is in regards to J, I'm assuming. Did he say? I think I left it in the passenger seat. Okay. If not, the trunk. Oh, if not, the trunk. Okay, so. Uh, okay. 
Uh, so then that is almost certainly Jay being filmed from afar. Um, okay, let me let's see what he says. To the art puzzle time. At the beginning of the video, we have a series of flashing words. Rat, he, or top. Unscramble the words correctly to get, you get the operator referring to the operator. Okay, so then the man, the main thread of the series. And this is because the photos of Jay from entry 13 going to get the battery of Alex's camera in the car. The person recording doesn't seem to be Alex. And he was um, still on the location waiting for Jay to come back. So who was filming? I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. Anyway, I have to get Jay gets the battery. So I'm sending it back to Alex. The person recording begins taking off and the footage cuts to our final message. Where's the arc? But I'm not done yet, as Billy Mays would say. There's more. Oh, God, this is a... Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, I thought it was like a really old comment because then Billy Mays would say, I'm like, God, this is really is from fucking 2009 YouTube. Uh, turns out, nope. Um, there's more in the description that says, remember me, whoever the person... Oh, I know, I'm going to be spoiled away for those of you who haven't figured it out yet. They appear to have been very closely related to the Marvel Holics crew at the time. As for the footage in the video, Jake confirms it was him on Twitter as he says the following, it's been three years, so my memory of entry 13 is a little fuzzy, though I do remember going to get a battery over Alex's car. Definitely never noticed any any anybody filming me do so. Okay. So, so I was going to say, and it does kind of make sense. Um, let, 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 let's run with Mr. Samuel G2000 over here. The, um, the To The Ark channel is being ran by someone who's close to Marble Hornets. We don't really know that we've not been introduced to that many people yet. But like, there's a couple of options. There's like the three actors that we've run into. Or maybe Tim? Tim being... Is Tim this guy? I think this is Tim, right? Let's start again. Let's start again. That's Brian, actually. Oh, wait. Tim. I went too far. Wait, shit. This one? Tim? Is Tim mentioned in this one, I think? Have you talked to him at all? No. This is Tim. Tim feels like the most likely because Tim was the one who was scrapping with Alex on this one, but 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 whatever. We can't can't really point fingers yet. The point is, I in my brain am thinking potentially that the the operator Slenderman proxies are, from what I understand, people that get, like, turned, I think, and therefore, potentially, one of the Marble Hornets cast is now one of the Slenderman proxies, and they are the ones making the videos on To The Ark, and also assisting in stalking, which would make sense, because uh, the proxies are supposedly the ones this we saw the shadows of. Out in the boonies, LMAO. I don't know what the boonies is, but I'm glad you saw it. it this series is great. I'm really enjoying it. Um... I don't know. Either way, Jay Schlatt is evil. I think that's what we've gathered from this. Entry 14, beginning of search. No proxies in Mar... Uh, there's no proxies in Marble Hornets. Okay, never mind. Someone mentioned proxies. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. We carry on. We carry on. We carry on. Interesting. Interesting. Entry 14. Oh, a lot of... Okay, there was actually no introduction. There's usually introductions. It was also tearing, so I'm going to assume... Ooh. Oh my god, wait, is that fucking a Slenderman tendril? It's a very tall individual, whoever it is. It definitely seems like the guy. He's big. He doesn't seem big enough, though. But equally, there's no audio, so that lines up with it being him. It's the first we've seen him move. No, it isn't. We saw him move in another one. All right, there's audio again. Okay, the doors, where the fuck? Whoa. He was big, but I don't know if he's operator big. You know what I mean? About 32 minutes passed on the tape before Alex changes it. 
Oh, that's not good, mate. What's happened to you? You gonna say anything? I need to find out where Alex has gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I felt like that was very not acknowledged. I wanna watch the guy come in again. He's like a big ass dude. Like what, doors are about, aren't door frames seven feet tall? Right? I believe door frames are seven feet tall. Let me go, I think I can spin my camera around far enough. Let me go stand in my door, hold on. Let me go stand in my door, let's work this shit out. Now I'm gonna get laughed at for being short, I don't give a shit, we gotta do science. Oh, down the mind, I unplugged the camera. Hold on. Let's hope that works, cause uh, that would, okay. Oh, oh, well, this cable's clearly a bit dumb. There. there is my door. I got to hear on it. Oh, the camera is falling. I've realized the camera is falling. All right, we'll never know how big doors are. I don't know, I don't know. I think they're seven feet tall, door frames. I want to say that. That feels accurate. What do you think, chat? Doors are about two, oh no, two meters, two meters, two meters. Sorry, it's not two. You're right, it's not seven feet, it's two meters. That is correct, which is six, six. So that means bro is like what? Bro is like, he's like a, he's a head above six, six. Like, that's like at least a head above six, six. So he's probably approximately, he's probably like approximately like seven feet tall but that isn't slender man height right no but the audio's cut the audio's not there it will be it will be there's no audio but usually when there's no audio it subtitles no audio which this didn't which is weird right yeah that usually subtitles no audio and they're they're as much as there isn't Maybe he was just silent, but usually there's just like static or something. Yeah, you see audio's there. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Weird. What's this one? That's a very short one. S. Nine months, let's go. Hope you're having a good day, smiley face. I am, actually. I'm really enjoying this series. I see why people wanted me to watch this. This one's a harder puzzle, I think. It's like an S. I'm assuming that's at bleed more. Yeah, it's someone who fucking hates him. It's definitely an antagonist who's got this channel then. Uh, okay. Oh, that's way too fucking fast. Way too fast. Hold on, slow that shit down. Okay. Jesus Christ, they flash fast. Da, 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 da. Okay, mate, hold on. I'm trying to think what this could be. Uh all right, let's figure it out. The, 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 also, there's just three zeros here. I don't know whether that means like... Oh, shit. Okay. 
Okay. Braille. This one's really hard. I don't think it's Morse code. I'm thinking like, could they be dots, literally just dots and dashes? I mean, we can try it. I don't think it is though. Morse code. Got a quick go. Got a quick go. So what would that be? Dot, 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 dash, dash, dot, dot, dash. Okay, but then I have to add spaces in necessary places. No, I don't think it is. Someone said Braille. Binary. I don't think so. Someone said it's ASCII. Maybe it's binary code. I can give it a go. Uh, binary translator. Binary to text translator. Okay, let's, let's give it a go. 001001. Let's try it. Fuck it. Zero 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 one. I think people would have got this though. Zero 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 one one one. Oh, actually, I think it might be, you know, zero, 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 one. This actually might be ASCII, you know, because that's a space, I think, right? These are long enough to be binary. I think this might be binary. Give me a sec. Let me try this again, because I haven't put it slightly wrong, but this actually might be binary. Is it enough? No, no, UTF-8 would be 8-bit. These are only 6-bit. Is there anything that's 6-bit? Nothing, wait, no, nothing 6-bit. This is, we're missing bits. We're missing bits. Oh, did I get raided? Oh, thank you for the, the raid, Spiffy. Um, but, um, this is 8-bit. This is 6. There's only 6 of them. Oh, it is eight. God, I'm stupid. I can't count. My lord. I'm so sorry. I don't, my brain. Sometimes counting is really hard. Anyway, this is eight bit. So it actually does make sense. Okay. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one. Okay. Space. Zero, 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 zero. There's another zero. Okay, space. Let's try this again. Zero 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 one one one. Zero 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 one. Zero 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 one one zero zero one. Same code as before. Zero 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 one. Zero 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 one one one. Zero 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 one. Must have zeroed in. Big one. Uh. Keeps going, man. Seven zero 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 one one zero zero one. This is repeating itself like f frequently. Yep, done it again. Zero 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 one. It's repeating itself. Zero 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 one one one. Yep. That's it. All right, come back. Uh, what character is that? It came out as something. The 
The title is program. There's an S there. It did come out as something, but uh, let me show you. Oh, my camera's slipping. I didn't even notice. Sorry. Um, I need to retighten that after this. Anyway, um, oh, to be fair, the apartment does keep fucking shaking. Uh, it came out as this. Let me drag it across. Hold on. This is what it came out as. These characters here, which... They're fucking tiny, but it says 1901 01 Is that letters of the alphabet? Let's give that a go. Uh, what's the 19th letter of the alphabet? 190117. 190117. No, it doesn't say 17. It says 7. 190107. Uh, uh, Nineteen oh one oh seven oh one nineteen oh one oh seven oh one three times. Okay. Okay, it's S. So the S A seven A B C D E F G. We sag. I don't think it's sag somehow. What if it's a date? 19th, well, that, well, that would be 19th of, no, that's in British format. It's British format date, but it'd be 19th of January, 2007. Could be that. But then also then there's the, um, I don't want to lose this, hold on. Uh, then there's also the, it's the S here that's flickering. It's just like an S there that's flickering. Bleed more. Unless, unless I'm reading the binary wrong and it actually want it, wants it entered slightly differently. Right? The S is the Greek Sigma symbol. No, it isn't. I know what that looks like. That isn't how it looks. It could... I'm just thinking the binary could actually want to be uh, displayed like so. Oh, let me skip it back a bit. It could be I read it that way instead of a cross the only other thing I can think of. I'll quickly do it, just see if it's, uh, I can, because uh, it repeats itself three times, so I can just do the first three and then that's all of them, and, the, and one of them is gonna be the same. So let me just, because it's, it's literally a repeating series. Uh, so that would instead make the first one zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. Then the next one would be the same. Uh, and then the next one would just be the same because obviously, oh shit, because um, obviously it's just that. And then the next one would be zero zero one zero 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 one zero zero one one. Is that different? Okay, so the first one's a percent sign, and then it's still a one, and then it's thirteen, and then it's a one. Doesn't seem any different. Does not seem any different. Unless it's not, unless it's not, it's like a different, ah, you see, hmm, unless it's UTF-16, don't know why it would be UTF-16, but what if it was? And then what would the original one be? Just, just for me to get it right again. Uh, actually, I can probably just. No, I don't think so. Weird. This took years. This is why it took years to solve. Yeah, I'm more. I'm leaning towards the the numbers one.
This code means that in 14, Alex recorded whatever caused him to bleed during the 32-minute gap, then rewound the tape and rewound it. How, how have you assessed that? I was half hoping entry 14 was going to involve Slenderman picking up the camera and saying, What's up, creepypasta fans? My name is Slenderman, and welcome back to another episode of Marble Hornets. Today, we're going to be driving Alex so insane that he cuts open his hairline. Ah, here we go. This is one of the most confusing to the art videos. It first shows another rainstorm. It, it's really coming down now. A moving S in the bottom left corner, a binary code, and then the words bleed more. The binary code went unsolved for four years until somebody finally figured out in uh, it out on Unfiction forums. If you put all of these solved binary codes together, then make them parts of ASCII control codes. You get end of medium, start of header, carriage return, and start of header. Oh, wait, I did that. That's what I got. I just didn't know what those codes meant, but I, that's what I did. That, yo, I am sometimes smart, you know, man. You guys can't read this at all. I just realized how fucking small this is. Sorry, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. Where was it? I was reading one. It was quite good. Uh, what? No. I've lost it. 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 Shit. 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 Lost it. Shit, where was it? Ah, here it is. Found it. Okay, let's read this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the binary code, blah, 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 blah. Yep, uh, end of medium, uh, end of tape. Start of header is the start of new tape. And carriage return is the rewinding of a tape before it ends. The audio actually hints this code, an old film project. What does bleed more mean, though? 13 minutes past and say before it was changed. How does the binary code relate to this step? While the first tape was the operator entering the room and now it's closing the door. That tape ended, end of medium. A new tape was put in, start of header. Then somewhere during that tape, Alex rewound the tape to the beginning, carriage return, and then played the tape again, start of header. Whatever happened in those 32 minutes wasn't because of the tape being destroyed. Alex hid what happened. And To The Ark knows this, inviting Alex to bleed more. If you're wondering what S is in the bottom left corner, it's actually the Greek letter for stigmata. Stigmata is wounds suffered where, where the victim feels like they experienced the wounds of Jesus Christ. Alex's wounds at the end of story 14 are just like this. Bleeding from the forehead, just below the hairline. Okay. Yeah, that's hard. I got the, I got, you know what? I'm proud of myself for getting the end of medium, start of header, carriage return, start of header. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that win. I got that. It was stigmata. No, yeah, but someone said sigma, which is not the same thing. <laughs> but fair enough. I got, I got the carriage return thing. I just didn't really make any sense of it because that's quite fucking like, oh, that's a lot to get your head around, to be fair. Did they say sigma? Oh, I read, definitely read stig sigma. I can't read, bro. I'll take that. I'll take that small dub. I'll take that miniature little dub I just took. Anyway. Anyway. Right. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Uh, Kaylee plays games, by the way. Thank you for the prime. Sorry, I probably didn't acknowledge that because I was busy doing my, sh my shit. Interview with Tim. All right. I was able to find Tim, one of the actors in Marble Hornets, and arrange a meeting. Ooh, cool. This is gonna be fun. Oh, this is playing at fucking quarter speed, isn't it? <laughs> In order to convince him to meet me, I told him I was gonna finish the film, and if he could do a screen test. Why are you so interested in finishing the film, though? Hey, uh, hey, Tim. Oh, hey. Uh, 
Jay, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you ready to do your screen test for this? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it's been quite a while, so you kind of have to get me up to speed. But right, that's fine. I can, I can do that. Let's the camera down here. So here's the uh, the script for the screen test. Okay. And I'll just be taking some notes. All right. Can I write on this or? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. So you can have it. Uh, before we do the screen test, uh, I want to ask you a few things about the production before, before now. You know, just like locations or something. Because uh, I think I remember there's a couple around here, but more more specifically, the director Alex, uh, uh, Alex Crayley. Do you remember? Him? Um, I don't really remember much. I mean, he was a friend of Brian, so I didn't really talk to him that much. I mean, he just kind of asked me to be part of the cast for the sake of convenience. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, did you like you live near him? Um, yeah, yeah I mean, well, like, like, I, I, I'm, I relatively live speaking, to, I mean, kind of within the, the middle of nowhere, right? Well, I mean, I, I live next to Brian, so, I mean, I didn't really live near okay. Alex. He was just kind of off. Okay, uh, uh, in terms of his directing uh, at the time, how was Sorry, I'm very, I, I'm not saying anything in this one. I'm just very, like, intrigued. You know what I mean? I'm just very, like, hmm, what's going off? What can I learn? Uh, he's a pretty decent director uh well at first at first yeah i mean after a while he got to the point where uh i mean it seemed like after a while he got to the point where he would be yelling at camera uh, it fucking falls completely hold on sorry because i moved it a bit it seems like it's a bit re the fucking thing but it's so already tight like I, it's so tightened but it's it's like i have to tighten it to the absolute fucking maximum it can be tightened before it doesn't slip like, sometimes I need to take a pair of pliers to it just to keep it fucking straight. That's more than he'd be actually be filming the movie, so... Actually, right, let me move myself here. And he'd just be really paranoid, waving his camera around all over the place. I mean, I just couldn't really... His camera, other other than the camera he was using to shoot the... Yeah, he had a handheld that he was carrying around with him all over the place. <coughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, and and, and he a had ton it. of tapes, too. Like right, he had, he had all bags the Bags of tapes in the back of his car. How many, how many would you say you had? Oh... Um, Way more than necessary. More than you would need to make a, a production like this. Yeah. Just for himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like, it's like more than like fifteen or twenty. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, speaking of Alex, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you knew this or not, but, but he did move away after he ended the, this production. Uh, uh, do you know what might have caused him to do that, or, or even where he might have gone to? I didn't even know he moved away. I mm. mean, obviously, like I said, Brian's the one that was really friends with him. I just kind of was along for the ride, but. Um, Did you happen to know where Brian is? I haven't heard from Brian either. Ooh, <laughs> well, interesting. Not, not okay. While, okay. Uh, so, so you wouldn't know what, what might have caused Alex to move away? No. Um, I know Brian did say something about, like, I think somebody was leaving dead animals in, like, his... Oh, what the Seven fuck? Months. I think it was like, some months. Or something. <laughs> it's fucked. But, like, 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 like pets or... You don't, uh, do you really know? What do you mean, pets? Like, like, like cats or dogs or anything? I don't think so. Because I mean, uh, he, he did kind of live in a heavily wooded area. I, I don't am think worried there was anything about that like cough. That, but... I D K Y Bow. I've not thought anything of the cough, but maybe we'll see. We'll see if the cough comes becomes consistent. I mean, you have to ask Brian. I'm not really the okay. Part of me thinks that the cough will be an identifying factor you for someone months, later. Smiley I would face. guess maybe the eight months. Uh, more about the set of Marble Hornets. Was there anything? I know that I know that you know, most of the places that you filmed this. I mean, there were some indoor, some like interior scenes, but most of it was exterior, like in the woods, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. it was like parks, and some was just kind of like off in the woods. Right. I mean, Alex did take me location scouting with him a few times. Fucking hell! It is loud. Sorry, I just keep hearing noises around the apartment. It's fucking scaring me, man. Sorry, I, I, uh, dead, uh, dead animals. It completely like. I zoned out to yeah, to whatever the noises were. I mean, you have to ask Brian. I'm you not can imagine really... I'm a little bit on edge about noises right now. The, okay. Uh, more about the set of Marble Hornets. Was there anything? I know that. God, I just, sometimes I just hear shit. I know that you know, most of the places that you filmed this. I mean, there were some indoor, some like. Was Sorry, there anything? I, I'm, I'm really I don't zoned think out. it was anything like that. But I mean, you have to ask Brian. I'm okay. not really the. Okay. Uh, Okay. More about anyway. the set of Marble set Hornets. Set Was there anything? I know that I know that you know, most of the places that you filmed this. I mean, there were some indoor, some like interior scenes, but most of it was exterior, like in the woods, right? Yeah, I mean okay. it was like parks 
And then some was just kind of like off in the woods. Right. I mean, Alex did take me location scouting with him a few times. So yeah. I, I did see a few of the places he was thinking about. Uh, but but did you happen to notice? I know these are like public places and there were people there. But did you notice anything out of the ordinary about any 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 people? Any, anyone that you saw? No. I mean, it was just you know, families, kids. You know, just I mean, you just have to get people off the set on a regular basis. So okay. But anything. You notice he sounds like foolish. Sorry, I was really trying to place who Tim reminded me of accent-wise. I think it's foolish. Any, Sorry. Any, anyone that you wouldn't assume would be in a, a place like that, like a park or anything? Like a like guy, guy in a business suit, like I, black business I suit? I don't remember. I mean, it was quite a while ago. And there, there may have been, but I mean, it's, you know, several years ago, and you're asking me about a guy in a suit, so... Okay, so so you don't really remember no. any specifics about anyone you had to move off the camera? No, I mean, it just, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. I'm trying to work out whether the way he's fidgeting with his hands is weird. Okay. And I'll just be taking some notes. All right. Like, you live near him? Um, yeah, yeah I mean, well, like, like, I, I... How was he as a director? More plays than around with the paper. Pet. I know that... Yeah. I mean, okay. it was like... But families, kids... He's trying to work know, out just, whether he feels I mean, a bit like, people off the you know... On a regular basis, so... It's like the show, and he just the way he says certain words, I I hear I hear foolish in it. Anything, any anyone that you wouldn't. I'm just trying to see if he seems like would be really weird. In a, a place like that, like a park or anything, like I, like guy guy in a business suit, like I, black business I suit. Don't remember. I mean, it was quite a while ago, and there there may have been, but I mean, it's you know several years ago, and you're asking me about a guy in a suit, so. Okay, so so you don't really remember no. any specifics? The no as like well. Just the, I think it's the O sound. I mean, it just, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, well, you're just, you're just wondering, since, mm -hmm. you know, I have I have the raw footage of the, of the tapes. And, but, yeah. Uh, um, I'm really sorry, but i I got to get to lunch after this. Can we right, I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. We can yeah. do this real quick. Yeah. Okay, get the camera set up. Oh, okay. More binary, more binary. Advocate, okay. Th this I hope is you are doing advocate, well, maybe. less than three. I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm a little bit hungry. I didn't know this series was this long before I started doing it, so this will definitely be like a, a several parter. Especially because I'm taking my precious fucking time getting through it. I think we've probably maybe collectively watched minutes of footage. Like literal minutes of footage I think we've watched. Uh, like, like I, I've realized I'm getting, I'm getting through it on a, you know, a slow pace. But you know, I'm just, I'm just curious. You know, I'm just curious. First series ends at entry twenty six. See, this is what I mean. Minutes collect up. Yeah, but I don't think we've been watching two hours worth. Anyway, um, let's let's give this a little look. Okay, let, let's watch this. And, okay, let's watch it in full, and then we can try to do the puzzle. It says TikTok. Okay, more binary. Also another S. There's audio, but my, my, the audio, um, the audio I'm gathering isn't relevant. Uh, I think it's just a slowed down, distorted clip of Brian. Uh, I, I don't think the audio is weird, um, or, or, like, or, or it is weird, but like, I don't think it has anything in it. Uh, let's do the binary really quick. Um, I'll try and... Actually, you know what? There's a guy who's done it down here, and I think... Um, I, I know how to fucking type binary. I can't be bothered. To the puzzle time. At the beginning of the video, the phrase TikTok appears upside down. A meaning of the phrase... A meaning of the phrase time going forward. The sort of footage from Brian from Entry, Entry 7, though. It appears to be different footage taking place on the same day. More on that in a moment. And over his face is a binary clock counting down to 10. Once the countdown finishes, we then see in the upper right-hand corner the S symbol for either final form sigma... Or stigmata. Oh, it is sigma. Shit. Shit. I'm stupid. Never mind. Either way. 
Then after it appears, the camera then shifts away from Ryan's face, making him disappear. The audio in the video is too distorted to be completely clear up, though it has been speculated that there are me uh, there may be a slowed down audio clip of someone, probably Alex, saying, leave now. Description of the video... Uh, blah, 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 blah. It goes to seven, a reference to entry seven, meaning the footage of Brian may come from that entry, right? Wrong. If you compare the footage of entry seven to the one in, in Advocate, you'll find that they don't match aside from taking place on the same day, meaning that whoever the arc is, not only were they connected to the Marvel Hornets crew, they, but they also have their own set of tapes taken from the set. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Gathering something. I would say that Brian, in some way, is also involved. Uh, I mean, he said he moved away in the last clip, right? So you, you, it makes sense. Brian is, in some way, deeply involved. Lucy, thank you for the gift to sub, by the way. Um, my thinking, as of right now, is... It counts down... Oh, it's... Wait, TikTok, time moving forward. Unless it's it's a threat to Brian instead of like saying because the the, the 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 right if we if we establish that stigma are his injuries like that of Jesus, then we can assume that Brian is either a victim or a potential victim. A lot of people are saying should we tell him, which now makes me think that maybe Brian is actually the 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 guy himself. But I don't want that confirming or denying. I have been thinking about that. I got the impression that Brian was either a victim or the uh, the perpetrator, and it could be either. Uh, and I can't be bothered to work out which one it is yet. I don't think there's enough evidence to lean either way. Um, but it says leave now. Interesting. I don't know. I don't think I can make many conclusions from this, but it's interesting. Searching. I've noticed the descriptions from Jay are getting weirder, by the way. Or, or, or like, more cryptic. I don't know. Received an anonymous tip about where Brian could be located. This one's a long... This is the longest entry yet. In my solid Stuck in my head at the moment. <laughs> He does have a cough, doesn't he? Actually. He does have a cough. really self-isolate. I know. That's why Brian won't open up. He knows he's got COVID. All right, so he's knocking on Brian's door. Ain't nobody home. He tries to let himself in. Don't be a fucking weirdo, man. Films around the house. Turns his flashlight off. JB Brent can an entrant like a weirdo. That's the thing with all these series. These people like see this weird evidence and they're like, oh, I can break the law now. I'm above it. I have knowledge that other people don't. I wonder if Jay's going to run into the operator at any point. That would be intriguing. That would intrigue me. Oh. Okay, he's managed to get a little glimpse inside. It doesn't look like... Yeah, why not go in the day like a normal person? I'm also... Yeah, like, admittedly, you've gone to a man's house in the middle of the night and he's not opening. Probably because he's in fucking bed, in fairness. I'd be sleeping. You know, like, sometimes I'd be snoozing in bed and shit. I think this is normal. Oh, has he managed to get in? Oh, he's actually doing breaking and entering. What the fuck, bro? Oh, okay, he's weird. Brian's gone weird, bro. He's not normal. Hey, J question mark. Oh no, J. Hello with the question mark. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Brian. 
Oh, Brian. Oh, why would he think Alex is here? Is that a sofa turned upside down? Can't really make anything out. It's just a fucking mess. Are these like wrappers or are they cut bits of magazine? I can't tell. It looks like magazine, I think. Or like pizza ads and some shit. It's a fucking mess. That's that's what I'm gathering. And, 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 and the place is a shit tip. Everything's flipped over. Brian is a Twitch streamer confirmed. Hey, my house is clean, man. Mostly. I need to clean up the food I ate earlier, but beyond that, it's it's mostly clean. I'm, I'm actually... I'm a clean guy. I'm a very clean guy, actually. Weird. Bone, did that say? Um, lovely. I like to pay attention to how th people make things scary, and one of the one of the uh, the best ways to set up for a jump scare, um, and I think Analog Horror does it well, is an investigative scene. You're looking around, and all of a sudden the camera focuses on an object. Uh, it lulls you into a false sense of security because it's been going around for a while, just searching. It's all been calm. Nothing's been going on. You kind of establish the place as a safe area, and then you zoom in very closely on an object. But not an object that you as the viewer can really make out. Like, I, what the fuck was that silver thing? And you, your brain goes, oh, what have they spotted? What is that? And you start looking. Your brain then starts looking. And then you, uh, you cut that fucking thought off with, with a scare. It gets you worse than if it was just out of the blue. I've noticed that. That's what they do. They'll, they'll like lull you in with an intriguing object and then scare you. I like paying attention to how these series make them scary. I want to make one one day. Realistically, I, I've gotten too involved in them now. I want to make an analog horror series one day. And like, um, and I, I, um, I, I just, I like, I like trying to pick up on, I think some of them are scarier than others. And I like trying to pick up on the ones, the bits that scare me, how do they do it? Um, and I found these investigative scenes are always really quite creepy. Uh, and that's one of the techniques they use. I just, uh, yeah, I really, um, but yeah, I'm an NYU film student. I'm going to pull out my letterbox to rate Morbius one star. But yeah, I'm an NYU film graduate. But yeah, no, no, no. Um, it's, it's, it's common. I think it's really cool. Jack, you get really scared by loud noises. You, whatever. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not just going to target it towards me. I'm kind of aware that that works for me, but you know. Gilbert Gottfried? No, that'd be like, I'm an NYU film graduate. That would be more like how um he would say it if he was still alive. Rest in peace, Gilbert. Oh, there's a crashing noise. A blanket and a pillow in a closet. Okay, weird. No power. And a bottle of water. Ooh. Weird noise. This one's gonna be scary. I can feel this. I can feel the fact that this one's gonna be one that gets me. It's gonna have a jump scare or some shit. It's definitely gonna have something. This one's it's creepy. It doesn't it's doing a good job. Oh, he's sick, man. I've been there, man. I had I get bad coughs when I get a cough. I've been there. I've been keeling over to your knees coughing. Switches. Hit that jewel too hard. Is that the front door again? Oh, he's just unlocked it so he can get out, I guess. Wise. Go find the breaker, dude. 
Look, Phasma, go find the fucking breaker. Okay, lots of trash. Okay, so what? The place is a mess. Like, we, we, we've gathered that. They've let themselves go a bit. Slaw, thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate it, dude. Let's go up the stairs, man. You'll be okay. Wait, is someone on the other side? What? What? Oh shit, no. Oh, bro, this shit got me on edge, bro. This shit got me on edge. Blood, okay. Blood, 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 trail of blood. Trail of blood. Oh, lots of blood in a sink. Dry blood? Dry, dry blood, dry blood. Hell! God, say how much I fucking love analog horror. I fucking hate it sometimes as well. Okay, pills. And also the Slenderman drawings. Door slam. Fucking hell! Ugh. Hate it! Pissed. Steal the pills. What did he take? Sorry, I zoned out for a sec. Door slams. Okay, nothing happens. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is... This is fucking crazy. Alex, the NYU film graduate, is fucking... I don't know what he grabbed. What is that? A pill? A battery? I can't tell what he's grabbed. Oh, God, this, this, is, this is one of the scariest episodes yet. This one's fucking bad. Bullet casing? Oh, it's a bullet. Oh shit. Oh, he, he grabbed. Okay, he fell on the stairs with the car. That's fine. But someone is here. Absolutely, someone is here. Doors are slamming. There's a doorknob rustled while he was on the bin. Get out of there, my boy. Get out of there, my boy. House appeared abandoned, although I did hear strange no noises. I left with two of Alex's drawings, some kind of pills, and a bullet casing. I may go back eventually. Yeah, because when he was on the, that red bin, this part. There's a doorknob sound. And then he looks at a doorknob. So I'm going to assume... It's just weird. It's just weird. Anyway. Uh, but nothing in there. See addition. Okay, and then I assume that was whoever was in the house with him. Let's quickly grab the audio. Hold on. So I assume someone was in the building with him. That was at the point where he was coughing on the ground. The guy snuck out and started filming him, whoever he is. Which, again, could be more evidence that the guy who is filming them and running to the Ark is Brian. Because Brian ha was tipped off to be at their house. But again, that might be the obvious answer, so... Um, I'm hearing, ah, oh, yes, bruh. Let's have a look. Uh, let's just quickly import this. Have a look. Ah, oh, yes, bruh. Oh, yes, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, effect. Uh, let's, I want to, I forgot how you do this. Change pitch. Now, we want to just change speed, I think. I think it's just slow down. I think it's pitched. If it is, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it. But let's try, let's try change speed to begin with. 
Let's do like a 50% change. Okay, no, it does need to be pitched. Okay, that's fine. Uh, doo -doo -doo. uh control A, effect, change pitch. Uh, let's just. Oh, no, it does need the. Am I talking? About, am I thinking about tempo? I think I'm thinking about tempo. I forget. I get. I, I haven't done audio stuff in a while. Let's, let's crank it up till about there. Alex. 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 It's the audio. Oh no! It's Alex Brian. It's the audio from when he fucking. I know what he's doing. Um, control. Uh, control Y. Even. Um, effect. Is it tempo? I fucking. Uh, sorry, give me two seconds. There's a way of like change tempo without changing pitch. No, I do want that. Do I just want to do speed? Alex, I for this is doing my head in. Uh, change pitch. Let's just crank it up a little bit, maybe. And then, and then speed. I think I'm pretty sure what it is. I, I just I just want to get it about right, is all. Maybe like there. Alex, I think it's when he called out to them, right? It's the same audio as when he called out, so it's just more confirmation that he's being watched. I don't think it's like anything beyond that, though. We've watched... How much have we watched? We've watched... Entry 13... Apparently season one ends at 26, so I think since we've watched half of season one, and I, I don't have another two hours 40 in me, I think we're going to call it here, and we're going to watch the rest of season one soon. This is probably going to be a really long series. I figured I could get it done in like two, three parts, but I really like talking about it. There's a lot to like speak about, so I think actually, since we've done it, you know, I think, I think we're a good... I think we're at a good point to leave it. We've watched Entry 30 uh, up to... No, we've not watched up to Entry 13. We've watched way further. I don't know why it says we're on Entry 13. We're not. We're on Entry 16. The, the playlist just hasn't updated. One more. One more. How long is the next one? It's two minutes long. All right, we'll watch the one... We'll watch one more. Two minutes... It's two minutes long. We'll watch the one more and then... And then I'm out! You've prayer pressured me, alright? You're getting you're getting your one, you're getting your encore. Alright, and then we'll then, and then I'm out. Alright, let's watch entry 14. There's no audio already, so. Oh, this is wait, isn't this? This is wait, no, shit. This is entry 14. We've watched this. Sorry. Entry 17? Yeah, entry 17. Cool. Oh, this is the interview with Brian. Okay. Found more footage of me helping Alex near the beginning of the production. Never mind. Absolutely wrong. It wasn't the interview with Brian. <laughs> I had to do that about five times. That's a good story. That's Tim, right? That's Tim, I had to right? Do that about five yeah, times. that's Tim. That's a good story. Mm. Jay, if you want to just stand where Brian's going to be and read his lines for me. Yeah, I got the script here. Alright. Am I out of the frame? Yeah, you're good. Uh, you know where we're starting, Tim? Uh, uh, Why do you come back? Yes. Alright. Okay. And, uh, let's, uh, just whenever you're ready. Right. Why do I call it Marble Hornets, by the way? I've been thinking about that. So why'd you come back? I had to. Was it because of Sarah? Is that a figure? Is that a person there? Like, someone crouching in a hoodie? I thought I'd be able to leave her behind along with the rest of this town, but I just can't seem to get her out of my head. I thought you said you were over her. I thought so too. No, that's far enough. Okay. Yeah, let's not do too much. Uh, who, uh, who wrote that dialogue with you, Alex? That was just me. Uh, oh, okay. I do all the script for this. Oh. Uh, do you know where Brian is? Uh, I think he said he access? was just running down to the store for some snacks or something. He should be back any minute. Okay. Uh, oh, that's just weird. There's a lot of. The for some snacks that was the big tear. That's minute. weird okay. tearing. Uh, can, I get some, okay. uh, can I get some water or something? Yeah. Uh, is this one yours? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Why are you wearing a jacket? It's pretty cold in here. Uh, I'm comfortable. Yeah. I feel like you have the AC cranked up or something. Uh, you left the camera on. Oh, well, okay, well, well he's still through it a couple more times okay. anyway, but... Oh! Oh, big distortion. What the fuck? What the fuck? Weird. From that point until the end of the tape, the picture is frozen. 
The usual audio and video problems are still present in this clip, but there's something else about it that really disturbs me. It's the guy crouching, right? I don't remember any of it ever happening. A few years. So let's go back to that house. There has to be something in it I missed. Weird. I'm not sure of what to do anymore. It seems like Ale like Jay's slowly fucking losing his sanity. There's that there and then the tearing, but I didn't spot anything. The operator, you generally mean, if there's, if, there's, if there's distortion, the operator's kicking about, but that isn't the operator. Also, Brian's not there. Something's weird about Brian. Brian's weird. He's been referenced by To The Ark. Maybe he's a victim, but I'm beginning to get suspicious of him. So on the second floor, that window's high up. Oh, that is him. No, that is the operator. Shit, I thought it was a crouch guy in a hoodie. I can see the face there. In the, it, it is the operator. Shit, I'm stupid. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, but it's not fine. Watch 18. We're not watching 18. We're not watching 18. We'll watch the, we'll watch the signal. Wait till we're alone together. Then I will tell you something new. Something old. Something sleepy. Something obscene. Peace in the room. Bright curve of space. Banish them. Refuse to speak. Leave them. Go upstairs to your room. I will be waiting for you. I will surround your bed. I'm very suspicious of Brian right now. I'm really suspicious of Brian right now. Again, just wait till I'm together, then I'll tell you something new. Something cold, something sleepy, something of cease and of peace on the long, bright curve of space. Banish them, refuse to speak, leave them. Go upstairs to your room, I will be waiting for you. I will surround your bed, close the windows so that none will ever be able to enter. Uh, the version of the, uh, oh, here it is. Thank you. I fucking love this Samuel guy. He's the sickest. The version of the audio in the video is from a black and white film called 1964 because science has secrets now. The footage has live stereoscopic red and blue shading as if it was an old 3D movie. The end messages come back and then before it cuts to black, the channel changes. It does? Wait, does it? Oh, it says find me. So it is, I, Brian. I'm almost certain that Brian runs to the Ark. Almost certain. I, I'm almost certain Brian's got to run to the Ark. Hello, Jackson Manifold. You're watching my fave series, Yas Moment. Anyway, have fun not sleeping less than three. But anyway, guys, I know everyone wants to just watch 18, but you're going to say that about 19 and all this. And now, people said 18 was the best. Now people say 19 is the best. Guys, I'm going to call it here. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.